Okay, live. We're live on the internet. And we're definitely live here at Adorama. Again. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And Brandon Remler is in the house. Nice. And Ari Espe, an amazing photographer who is here in New York. And friends, and I see some uh, familiar faces. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Adorama, for putting this on. Thank you, Seth Miranda. His particular mad genius is writ large in this space, right? Have you ever seen anybody fit more lights <laughs> in a small space. I mean, I get accused of that. People are like, oh, Joe, you use a lot of lights, you know, like, what's the problem? Well, I give you, you know, uh, what do they call it in court? Like, evidence, you know? <laughs> madness, madness. Um, anyway, so I was just asking if anybody has anything specific. Yes, sir. So let's assume that your subject is, has different emotions. How do you change the light to enhance that emotion? Okay, everybody hear the question? How do I change the light to enhance emotion or perhaps a different uh, expression or look or style? Well, you've come to the right place, sir, because um, uh, Lupe <laughs> is going to start with a very kind of conservative look. She's going to have a black jacket, you know, uh, glasses, uh, um, you know, her hair is very, very orderly, wonderful, you know. And so we're going to start with a very conservative kind of uh, a corporate portrait. Now, a corporate portrait. Here, here's the thing, photographs in my head, photographs are like trained seals in some instances. I mean, we all love wandering the streets in, in beautiful light, right? And there's no reason for us to be out there with a the camera except that we love it and it's beautiful. And there's a little kid playing soccer and there's a backlight and, oh yeah, the picture never had a reason to exist until we made it. But then when you're on assignment, okay, and the corporate honchos are looking at you and saying, Mr. or Mrs. Big Shot, has to be photographed and they've only, you've only got five minutes. Well, that's a photograph with a destination. That's a photograph that has to jump through some hoops. That's a photograph that has to make the person look good, has to have enough depth of field that there might be a trademark in the background. And all that sort of information, right? Because photographs are vehicles for information as well as pictorial beauty and emotion. I shot for National Geographic for 25 years and I had to, if and I got a photograph in that magazine, had a fire on three pistons. Right? It had to be pictorially successful, it had to be informationally successful, and then it, best of all, it had to be emotionally successful. It had to reach into the heart of the reader or the mind of the reader. <laughs> the or, the, or the hips of the reader. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, oh, I, sorry, I need a moment. Um, anyway, um, you know, and... Uh, and involve them, right? Stop them, right? You know, it's kind of an audacious thing to do as a photographer nowadays because, you know, everybody here is probably on Instagram, right? Right? How do we go through Instagram? Click, 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 click. How much time do you spend with those individual photographs? Not much, right? Not much. So what's our job increasingly? Get somebody to stop doing this and go that. Instead of this motion, they want, you want to turn the reader into a cat that you just put out food on the table and they're like, hmm. you know, uh, it's attractive, you know, they, it pulls them in. All right, so, is that a cool place to start? We good? All right, how am I doing? I don't know. Yeah, so, sorry? Gavin, Gavin's in the chat saying hi. Oh, awesome, Gavin Huey, nice, from the UK? You better not be in New York, Gavin. I swear to God, I told you never come here again. <laughs> you got those flashes, and you're pretty good with them, and I just, you know, I don't need it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> wow, you, you went into mode, huh? You're in it. Okay, so there is, uh, is that up on the screen? <laughs> How about that, huh? Uh, what a lovely photograph. Thanks for coming, folks. Um, anyway, Lupe, come on up. So what's the first thing? Um, you can maybe have a seat over there just for a couple of minutes. How about a round of applause for Lupe? She's a fantastic person, just absolutely lovely, wonderful. Okay. And uh, so here's the thing. Um, where was I? We just come up here. We're going to do this. So what in this? <laughs> Apologies to Seth. This is a beautiful space. But graphically, 
it's a little bit on the cluttered side, right? You know, so we're going to use a seamless, and then I'm going to turn into the audience and see what kind of what we can make out of this. Okay, the, the cacophonous light in here, the this and that and the other things. So what is what do we seek as uh, photographers in the field? What what is an element that we desire? Control. Right? Control. Control of our environment. Because as a photographer, we face off with a lot of variables. The subject, the, the environment, the this, the, the weather, whatever it might be. So we seek to, um, to gain control of things. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, uh, using pro photo flashes up here, I'm going to shut off the flashes. I just shut off my remote and I look around. Okay, I've got a reasonable f-stop shutter speed combination, ISO 400. 200 at f4, no flash, and I don't care. This is not going to be a good photograph, you know. I don't care. It's just going to um, come up on the screen. Yeah, I have a reasonable amount of control. Let's look over here. All right, there, darkness, darkness on the edge of town. Now that may be a little bit like, oh, well, you know. But he here's the thing. You know what I've just done via shutter speed and f-stop? I've blinded the chip pretty much. So the only thing the chip is going to vibrantly record is something I light. Okay? So, here we go. Lupe, if you could stand... Uh, I wish when you had designed this space had a little more... Didn't they give you a license to Listen, blast that way? Do the demo. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to stand about here, okay? And so, um, initial light shaping tool that I grabbed off of Seth's shelf is a three foot uh, OCF Octa, okay? Uh, set up at 4.0. And you see the way Lupe is standing? Please just stay just like that. See the, see the way she's standing? I oftentimes take my cue from subjects and I keep my eye on them, even when I'm not photographing them, because they give you visual cues, and they relax a little bit when you think your camera's not to your eye. And the, so you see the way she just uh, stayed there? Her left shoulder is towards camera. So I'm going to key on that. I'm going, well, she's comfortable there. She feels good there. Okay, so I'm going to put my light off to this side, because it feels natural. And so I'm not going to say, hey, turn around, you know? I mean, that's, you're throwing a curve at your subject before you're even out of the gate. This is a C-stand, by the way. I'm sure everybody knows it. Seth Miranda has an amazing video on C-stand etiquette. Just in case you were wondering about, you know, how to date a C-stand, for instance. You know, I mean, open the door, put on a, put their jacket on, whatever. The check's in the mail, Joe. Thanks. All right. So, Lupe is blessed with amazing facial structure. She's got, like, cheekbones to die for. And so I'm going to put the light off to the side because I view a shadow in this instance as my friend. I'm, I'm going to view shadows as giving her face a little bit of depth and dimension. And I have no idea if this particular frame is going to be uh, exposed properly. Okay, I'm, I'm shooting manual. Okay, so I'm just going to start off. And I get the question quite frequently, actually, like, where do you start? You know, and the answer is, I throw a dart at the wall and I start. And that's when the struggle begins, right? That's when you start to climb that hill towards a good photograph, hopefully at the end of the day. All right, any questions so far? No, there's no questions so far, Joe, because you haven't done anything. Um, no, you walked off camera 20 times. <laughs> All right. Um, it just seems like a reasonable place to be. Okay, but you know what we could do, now that you mention it, I could go to 200. I've got a lot of flash here, so you know, I'm not so much worried. What did 200 just do? Took everything in the whole room down by a stop, you know, and let's try to remember to turn on the flash. Um, piece of advice that you'll remember from tonight. <laughs> if you have flash, turn it on. Um, okay. You ready over there, boss? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Lupe, you look fantastic. You look routinely wonderful. Fantastic, wonderful. Uh, 
Okay. All right, again, you know, thank you for coming. I mean, that's it, that's done, we're done. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty nice picture. That's more to Lupe's credit than mine because she's at ease in front of the camera. She's one of those rare people that steps in front of the camera and just kind of owns it, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, so you see there's a shadow. Uh, might have a little bit of an issue with the glasses, you know, we'll work on that. And there's uh, not a lot of space. You have to go, you just stay in the area. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Gotta put a leash on you, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna angle this down a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna raise the light up a tiny bit. And I'm gonna ask Lupe to come a little closer to the light. I mean, your subject is mobile, sometimes much more mobile than your light stands are, so it's not a problem to ask them to sort of move around. Now, let's try this. Okay, absolutely wonderful, pretty, okay. Now, um, she moved closer to camera, so she's a little too bright. De facto, right, I'm in manual. Move the subject closer to the light, it's gonna get brighter. So let's take it down. <laughs> they want you to put a baby gate in the event space. <laughs> 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 Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely lovely. Okay, so I took a stop out of it. That's sort of reasonable, you know, quite nice. And the glass problem, eyeglass problem is eliminated. Now, Lupe, could you take your glasses off and just hold them in a sort of judgmental way and um, look at me like I'm a subordinate who just turned in a bad quarterly report. Okay, ready? Whoops, no. my bad, my, no, no, you weren't ready, you weren't ready. It's, it's just my ex, uh, excitement, my overdue, uh, uh, unbridled sense of excitement. Blinked. You blinked. Actually, does anybody, uh, I mean, we're not gonna stay with a blink, right? But look at the facial structure, look at, look at you know, it's just, it's elegant, it's simple. It, let's do this right, okay, here we go. Okay, and you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm going to take myself out of FX and I'm going to go into one-to-one. -one. Everybody ever shoot in one-to-one? -one? Square format. I love square format. I got raised oftentimes shooting with um, medium format systems that were square format. There's a harking back, if you will, to a historical continuum that I feel is very, very powerful in photography and I'm very comfortable in that portrait space. Okay? All right, here we go. There we go, nice. Fantastic, Lupe. You're awesome. Okay, now I have my equipment in the picture. That's not, <laughs> it's not recommended, um, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's reasonable. Uh, you know, that is an easy th thing to fix, either by moving the light or, um, or post-production. <gasps> <laughs> I, I, I said it. I, I didn't mean to. Get out of my space. Uh, yeah. Post-production. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, yeah. So it's, 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 very, it's, it's just a simple, clean, lovely portrait. Let's try this, just for, uh, just for grins here, if I may. Um, all right, here we go. Let's try that again. And you, yes, yeah, just, you know, Think of this as your annual report photo. You're the CEO, okay? You ready? Beautiful. Okay, now I just put myself in monochrome um, in the camera, but let's do this. Yeah, because I'm, I'm tethering into Capture One. So let's do this. Let's just put that on just for a sec. It took a while, right? So we'll, maybe it'll be faster this time, okay? So I'm gonna feather this off just a little bit. Feather, everybody know what I mean uh, when I say feather? You know, you're not moving the position of the light. You're not, you're not swinging it or tilting it necessarily. You're feathering it. So some of the light now is gonna go past her. And maybe I can get a little bit more even on the background, tiny bit. Let's see what happens. It also means that I can possibly sneak my camera underneath that vexing shape of the octa. 
ooh, God, company didn't have a good year, did it? Um, <laughs> damn, <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> you know, when I shoot CEOs, <laughs> and I've encountered a whole ton of CEOs, and the classic thing is like, you've got five minutes, you've got two minutes, you know, because their time obviously is very valuable. And I used to vibrate like a tuning fork when I was a young photographer. I, I did the New York Stock Exchange and a report four years in a row. And, you know, I would be like, oh my God, I only got two minutes. And then you grow up and you mature and you achieve a level of gravitas as a human being that you just no longer give up. And, and, and I actually embrace that two minute time period. I say, oh, thank God. You know, let's do it in one minute because you're actually not that interesting. Um, those are inside words. Those are inside words. But, you know, if somebody only wants me to work for a couple of minutes, just think about it. Your day rate just went up. You know, because I'm accustomed. I start the very first job I ever shot for National Geographic. I was working 18, 20 hours a day. I was like a dog with a bone. I couldn't stop. You know what they were paying me? $250 a day. Yeah. All right, here we go again. All right, so uh, I hate to keep harping on this. Or I'm just kind of playing a little bit here. Nice, nice. Okay, all right. So, all right, let's add, I mean, you guys didn't come here to see me work with one light. I get it, I get it. We're gonna put up two lights now, all right? Yeah, sure. What's the advantages and disadvantages of putting a grid? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to repeat the question. What's the advantage of using a grid? I'm currently not using a grid, but you are, you are one, you're a soothsayer, you're a fortune teller, because I'm about to go to a grid, and you've just asked a series of questions that Adorama is, uh, let's see, is Mary Irene still in the audience? Uh, no, Fernando, Fernando, yeah. Uh, this gentleman here wins the uh, Z9. Okay, that, that giveaway that you, the giveaway. Right. Yeah. 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 You this one day? yeah. <laughs> I'm retiring, just take mine, I'm out. Anyway. Also, we're live, that's legally obligation. Thanks, Joe. We're, we're, gonna, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get to a grid, okay? Uh, for now, actually, there's a grid on this. Um, let's see. Lupe, could you step up a little bit towards this way? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna move this here and keep you Scooch just a tiny bit. There you go. Nicely done. Thank you. All right. And ordinarily, I would kind of move things around, but you know, only got an hour. And so I'm going to try to move um, you know, quite quickly here as best as I can. So I'm going to um, take a stab at this guy. I'm going to put this up to 6.0. OK, so this is my B group light secondary light. I try to stay um, organized on location. You know, A is the main, B is like the kicker or the side light, C is background, etc., etc. Uh, the chat wants to know if you'd like to work with the Brooklyn Reflector. <laughs> if I would like to work with a, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to work with that before the end of the evening. So I get my subject's position when I'm put, um, positioning lights. I always ask my subject. I, I'm about to get close to you. Uh, may I come right up? I'm going to, because I want to see from her position. I don't want to be back here like, oh, yeah, that's fine. I want to I come up and see what the deal is. And of course, you know, I had placed it perfectly. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Sure. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, good question. Here's the thing. I grew up in an era where soft boxes were like, you know, uh, no interior baffles or mid-level diffusers in the, in the, in, in, inside the box. And, you know, lots of uh, no grids really were, they weren't popular. So you'd oftentimes get a situation where the soft box would have a hot core. And the sweeter light would be on the edges. And so you got into uh, a habit or grew used to feathering the light and essentially lighting your subject with the edges of the light. Cool? Okay. All right, here we go. B 
Beautiful, beautiful. That's absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. All right. Now, okay, court of public opinion. Um, does, is that uh, rim light too strong? Yes. yes, yes, it is. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Got another Z9 out the door. God, man, you know, you folks are just so damn generous. Went out of your day rate, homie. All right. Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you swing me back into color on that? I'll swing back into color here. Appreciate it very much. Choo -choo -choo. Going back into standard color, okay? Straightforward, nothing fancy. Okay. And beautiful look, beautiful look. That's awesome. Thank you. Super pretty. Okay, I just made another exposure where that's too strong. Um, I got into the, let's go from um, uh, monochrome to color, and I forgot to actually take that light down. So let's take it down. Okay, cool. Nicely done. Fantastic. That's beautiful. Way to go, Lupe. You look awesome. All right. Now, um, ordinarily, I would push this other light back off the set, but okay, moving along. Um, what? What was that? <laughs> come a little closer to the main light. Now, you can, if you, how about this? Maybe just kind of look a little bit this way. There you go. Now, I've moved her closer to the light, and I'm going to shift this way here, and there we go. Beautiful. Now, that one side of her face is going to be quite, so you see how now what's happening is I've shortened the light on her face, so now it gets more pensive. And let's do this. Let's make it even a little more severe. And I'm going to kill the, um, the background light. That's beautiful. So now it's, the shadow is really severe. Okay, and it depends on the look. You were saying like emotions, you know, if uh, this is like, you know, she could be like a novelist who writes uh, psychological thrillers where everything is very dark and, you know, or something like that. I don't know. You, you know, it's not a happy light. It's not, it's not you know, bright and, and fuzzy and, and warm. It's, it's not the light you'll use for a newborn, right? <laughs> it's, um, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, it's an evil newborn. You don't know. <laughs> Love the respect Joe shows with just something simple like asking for it in color. Okay. Joe, I'm a heathen. I'm craving a big, low-power, active fill for the lower right. Jeez, these yeah. folks are demanding. Yeah. You know, they're really demanding. Okay, so if you wanted to, let's do this. Now, how am I doing on time, Seth? Because I'm just getting warmed up. I mean, <laughs> you, know, you can go over an hour. It's up to you. Man. All right. So we'll come in here. All right, that's good. That's good. And uh, so they want Phil, do they? All right. Um, let's see. Ari, would you mind coming up and being uh, the Phil guy? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's come on over in here. Uh, Ari is a very dear friend, and uh, he's also, literally, he's a brilliant photographer. Uh, put him on the street, magic happens. Ari Espay, E-S-P-A-Y, follow him on Instagram. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to kill myself on that sandbag. Fantastic. That's great. Lovely. All right. So um, that should be just with the one light. Um, I'm going to you know, cover that up and just say, yes, I, I wanted to see what the one light was uh, doing. No, I simply forgot to turn on the side light. Um, all right, here we go. Fantastic. That's beautiful. OK, let's see. So now, you see how her face now is just like opened up? You know, I made the light even a little more severe. And now the, the side light is kind of sort of under control. I mean, it, it, here's the thing. Lighting in photography is like cooking, 
right? It's to your taste. Some folks might look at that and say, oh, that's not subtle enough. And they might dial it down a little bit. It's like a little more salt, a little more paprika, a little more this, a little more that. Whatever you like, it's to your taste. Nobody really is at the camera. Here's the beautiful thing about photography. Everybody's here been to a business meeting, right? What's usually the upshot of a business meeting, a whole conference table full of people? Well, okay, thank you for all your suggestions. In two months, let's have another meeting, right? Like, nothing gets done. The beautiful thing about being a photographer is that when I click that shutter, that decision is mine. Whether I screw it up, do it right, no matter what happens, that decision is absolutely and completely individually mine. So that's a very beautiful thing about being a photographer in the field because you're the eye in the camera. You're the, the finger on the shutter button. And nobody is, you know, it's nobody else's responsibility but yours. I love that. Yes, sir. So in the pose that she's in currently, right, yes. where her head is so what do you suggest when somebody's glasses change the magnification of their face behind the glasses? Because sometimes there's a shift in their face. So the face is here and it shifts over a little bit yeah. behind the glasses. So what would you suggest? Okay, so the question from the audience is, what do you do about magnification in glasses if in fact it changes the look or attitude of the face around the eye orbit, et cetera? Well, there's a couple of things you can anticipate. Hopefully this is where research comes in. I used to photograph the president of the stock exchange, for instance, <laughs> and he had television, mirror, glasses, man, like welder glasses, like, and his eyes, they, they were, would have been more appropriate on a bug, right? Um, you know, I, I never said that, um, but to him uh, personally. Um, but, you know, so I used to, occasionally I would ask, I would research, and I would say, can he get a non-magnification set of glasses? If you have the juice, if you have the, the, the foretelling of that. The other thing I think you possibly could do, because the entire photography world, is anybody here into Boca? I mean, like, you have to say that seductively, like, boca, yeah, you know, it's like, try that, you know, go sidle up to a, a, a someone at a bar and say, boca, you know, I mean, I don't know, it, everybody's gone crazy over lack of depth of field, okay, and that's one thing you can do, perhaps, that's going to make somebody look a little bit odd, but also maybe very interesting, is really minimize your depth of field, let the glasses go soft, let, you know, just crisp out the eyes and let everything else go into, uh, the, you know, the, the ether, you know. Okay, everybody doing okay? We all right? Okay, all right, so um, now, okay, so we have a little bit of detail in the background. Gentleman was asking about grids. Okay, all right, let's do this. Now, a beautiful thing that, and, and you know, I, I, I'm a dear friend of Pro Photos. I'm not necessarily even wearing my pro photo hat tonight, you know. Um, I just, you know, honestly, I just think they've done some tremendous things lately. And one of the uh, tremendous things they've done has been to, uh, let's see, yeah. you can take that home later, um, <laughs> has been these, um, these A-series lights, you know, and is everybody familiar with the click? You know, this fold it up, you know, pull it back. I've got a grid on this one. It's pretty awesome. Take this guy, you know, dump it in there. Um, these A2s are 100 watt seconds, so they're not like, can't light the world with them, but they are, they pack a pretty good punch, actually, pretty reasonable. So let's do this with Lupe. So that's 4A, that light is off. I always try to make sure my lights are off when I put them down because with the radio, they'll just start triggering and all of a sudden drive yourself mad because you can't tell where this light is coming from and you put it off in the corner and it's still hot. So, all right, Lupe, could you get into position roughly the same way you were? And Ari, no, no fill on this. Let's, let's, not, let's not be kind to Lupe, let's... <laughs> If you notice, I, you know, even at the expense of sometimes getting the corners of my lights in the photograph, I work my lights in as close as I possibly can to my subject. Why? It, it wraps. 
it's softer. Now, I'm not going to get a lot of rap on this um, because I've got a. <laughs> The, this, I need you to look, Bubby, Bubby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love you, Joe. You're killing me here. I, eventually, but if I ever do this again, Seth is going to get, you ever see those parents at the airports with their kid on a leash? Yeah. Um, anyway, um, where was I? Oh, I'm not going to get a lot of softness and wrap out of this because I purposely have controlled the light with a grid. And the grid does this thing where it doesn't allow the light to spread. So I anticipate that detail that's a little bit in the, in the background there, I anticipate that going away to a great degree. Let's see if I'm right. I'm not letting this go either. You no, know that, right? No, <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. It's horrible, you know. What are you going to do? All right. Perfect. You look amazing. And the background's black. Yes. 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 <laughs> now, see, that's what the grid did. It didn't allow the light to migrate to the background. So if you're in a tight space, and um, you have a background issue, a grid, a fabric grid, is a really, really handy tool. I've got them for all of my lights, you know, all of my lights. So um, let's do this. Now, Lupe, could you square yourself off and just be like, you know, straight on to me, okay? Very symmetrical. So now, I'm gonna swing this this way because I'm gonna adjust the softbox and I always try to get the softbox out of the... Seth, would you mind grabbing another uh, um, bag? Just, just to be on the safe side, please. Would you want to balance this? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have it just overhead. I'm going to tabletop right, it so over her. Do me a favor. Let's go over the arm, okay? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Almost caught you. It's Almost a softbox. It's a soft box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Cool, cool, cool. You want to do a 90 or? Let me do this. Now, let's try this. Okay, we'll just try a slight angle, right? So it's almost tabletop. Everybody familiar with what I say? Tabletop, like flat out this way. Okay. Anybody familiar with that old movie poster for Goodfellas? Pesky and De Niro and uh, Liotta. And they're like, you know, you looking at me? You know, shadows in the eyes. That's just one big overhead source that purposely creates kind of a aggressive feel. So again, speaking with the light, right? Okay, cool. Now, Lupe, could you kind of walk in just a little bit? Okay, that's nice, that's nice. I don't think this is going to be a very flattering picture of Lupe. <laughs> Now, um, stern, chin up a little bit stern. Okay, cool, nice, good, good, beautiful. Okay, now, here's the thing. Eyes are in shadow, like you're not gonna turn this in. I mean, you know, the, the PR people on the set with you are gonna be like, you just turned him into the Prince of Darkness. Nikon. <laughs> Takes a licking and keeps on clicking. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I just, I, I get emotional about my equipment, so, I, you know. Um, can we have a laying on of hands with the camera, please, to see if we can? No, no, I, I, you know, I, I tr do try to take care of my gear, but, you know, uh, stuff happens. So. Not a particularly friendly picture, right? That is uh, nearly tabletop kind of a thing. Let's see if Ari can improve that by, we'll put, the, uh, we'll put the fill right underneath. Now, I'm courting danger. Why? Low fill, glasses. <clears throat> you know, you're going to get some shimmer in there. Let's see what happens. I, the thing about doing what I do at this point in time is that I am utterly unafraid of mistakes. Anybody here ever made a mistake with a camera in their hands? Yeah. Hello, hello, yeah. yes, you know? So, like, let it rip. It's just pixels, you know? It ain't, it ain't, you know, all that serious. Experiment, play around, 
make mistakes. Embrace your mistakes. Take them out to dinner. Sit them down around the table, have a conversation with them because they will be your instructors. How are we doing? Go easy. Go easy? Yeah. Too late for that. I already knocked the camera off the thing. All right. Oh, I, 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 okay. I splintered that, huh? Mm -hmm. Just oh, wow. All yeah, right. It's fixable. All right. So now I'm going to kill the background light. That's gone. So the only light in the picture is this. Ari and I are going to. Let's go silver. Yeah, All right, let's go dangerous. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Fantastic. I can already tell I'm going to have an issue, but let's go ahead and have an issue. Hang on a second. Did it slip out of? Are you in TTL or no? Do you want to be in TTL or no? No, no, no. No. No, no. Hang on. Let's try again. <laughs> People are beating you up. <laughs> All right. Let's try that. No. All right. Good enough. Can you um, take this apart for a second? Oh, well, well, just take, take the tether out and uh, we'll, we'll fly. I don't want to waste time with the... Uh... You want to take this off? Yeah, yeah, because I'm going to switch cameras, right? Oh, just tell yeah. me you're switching cameras. And I yeah, I'm, I'm switching talk. cameras. <laughs> you just hand me a camera. Take it apart. Okay. <laughs> you know? It might be the remote after that. Could be the remote. But here's the thing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually switch lenses because we're about to make a segue into another area. I mean, we're going to stay here. Can anybody hear me OK? Um, all right, oddly enough, on an ISO 200 on this camera. Let's get back to 200th of a second. I believe it was at F4, yes? Let me tell you. All right. But then you want it. Are you oh, ready? come on, Joe. Oh, uh, that's all right. I'll just, I'll just hand hold it. Or actually, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, I did say something about a tripod. Here, let's take it off. That's the third time you said it to me today. <laughs> you can there we go. And this. So is anybody, um, is anybody getting the feeling this is now a full-blown location shoot? <laughs> you know? And the only thing I'm waiting for now is for it to start, start raining inside. <laughs> you know, because that, you know. It's funny, it just installed. All right. So, <laughs> let's take a question. <laughs> yes? I was wondering, um, did you talk at all about the ratio of the power on these lights? The ratio of power on the lights. Good question. Good question. Um, here's the thing. Profoto speaks a language 10.0 is full power. 9.0 is one stop down. We live in a world of photography where every move you make, f-stop, shutter speed, is either twice the light or half the light. Same thing with Profoto. You, so if you're a 500 watt second unit at 10.0, at 9.0 you're 250, 8.0 you're at 125. So there is this ratio thing going on and I completely understand the question. Here's the thing. The classic sort of ratios that we all talk about, I wouldn't know a three to one lighting ratio if it crawled up my pants leg right now and bit me in the ass. I really, I go by my gut, you know, so one light, I think the lights are fairly even. They're like 4.0, 4.0. It's about angle of incidence, angle of reflection for that side light. And I'm not making light of it. It's just that when you take a light, say I'm looking at you, main light is here, I got a light back here, it skips like this. It's like a pool shot, it's like a carom. You actually amplify the power of it. So you can put up a, um, a side light and just because of the attitude and direction of it, it can read or play much more powerfully than you would have, than you might have imagined. Cool? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's, um, that's, uh... Oh, so you just shot that? Yeah. Okay, so it's working. Yeah. 
Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Why are you so shocked? <laughs> well, I'm always shocked when it works. I mean, come on. Anybody else shocked when things actually work? You know? Um, come on, you're in my house. Come on. All right, here we go. All right, so now let's do this. So you sort of got the gist of the fact that that overhead light is not particularly friendly, right? So step back, please, a little bit, Lupe. Okay. Oops. All right. Now, let's try this. A little bit of an attitude adjustment to that light. OK. And come this way, please, Lupe. I'm going to come close to you. All right. Looking good, looking good. All right. And uh, let's do no fill. Yeah. Thank you. Amazing. Beautiful. So you see the, that was a move of what, three or four inches. And photograph takes out an entirely different language. Now you could actually, now um, let's, let's live dangerously with a silver fill. Yeah. Okay, let's see about this. A little lower please, Ari, sorry. Fantastic, man. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> Look at me. I'm the photographer at the camera taking all the credit for what Lupe just did. Okay, but that's us. You know, what can I say? Oh, yeah. Best picture ever been shot of you, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this down on this awful chair. Don't call it awful. You know. Um, okay. So that's pretty straightforward kind of one light, two light sort of thing. Moving the mane around. I mean, do you like her with a carved shadow on the side of her face that really defined her cheekbones, or do you like it with more centrality? Do you like the shadow? You like the centrality? Yeah, okay, there you go, photography, right? Yeah, never gonna be universal. You know, you can do your best work and turn it in, and somebody says, it really wasn't what we were thinking, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, so, but Lupe routinely looks amazing. The other thing that happened, and I would be lying to you if I told you I absolutely planned this, but because I had that symmetrical light and she's straight on to me and I'm seeing the background, see the highlight in the background is very central, right? Whereas when I had it off to the side, there was a little bit of a lopsided highlight, more on this side, more on the other, which is why I started to feather. With me so far? Okay, cool, cool. I mean, and that's, you know, that's uh, cool. We can, uh, ready to, how am I doing on time? Uh, 45 minutes in. Oh, rats. Okay. You can, you can go over, Joe. It's okay. Okay. For so you. now we're going to do something a, a little bit different, okay? Lupe, would you mind changing into your shirt? Okay. All right. Here we go. I'll take the jacket for you. Thank you very much. I take the camera. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Oh, that coffee. Who brought the coffee? Sir, thank you again. I, I, I drank half of it, which is part of the reason I'm talking so fast. Um, so I appreciate that. Anyway, um, while Lupe's getting ready here, anybody have any questions? We good, we good, we good? What was the watch seconds on the uh, Let's see. 6.6. 6. 6. So we're looking at, uh, you know, not that much light, maybe. 150 at full? No, this, these, the A2s are 100 at full. So you're looking at, you know, four stop, three and a half stops down from, from Maine. Okay? All right. That'd be fantastic. Uh, you know, I, the, the conversations that you have with uh, your model, um, you know, she has been with you before. So, so this conversations help to make her a little bit at ease that, you know, she's know, she knows what to expect. Is that... Yes, um, good question. Um, Lupe is, is, she's posed for me before. We've always done well together. Here's the thing, there's a lot of photographers, especially in the fashion world, they're always after the new face, right? The new face, oh, I gotta get, oh, who this, this bright, shining new face, you know, for the, I really, I repeat, I go back to people. And all my career I've gone back, I've photographed people 10 times, 15 times. There's a sense of trust that builds up a rapport 
and I can fi I find faces that adapt to where I might be going. It's a new job, but I use that face again. Unless, of course, it's for a commercial client where I've used that face already for that commercial client. But in my own personal work or approach, I love to work with people over and over again because there is just this kind of comfort level on the set, and it's, it's a wonderful thing. Cool? All right. All right, how we do? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. We good? All right. So, uh, may I? I'm going to just adjust your collar line. Oh, yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, let's put the collar out a little bit. There we go. That's really nice. Uh, may I? Yeah. Just straighten you out just a tiny bit. Okay. You look wonderful. Okay. So, all right. So, let's do this. Um, Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what happened. You swapped lights, and that's 100 watts. That's not 250. That's why all that power went away. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, uh, let's kill this light for one second. Now, I'm going to do something a little odd here, perhaps, um, because I'm going to start from the back of this photograph. Has anybody ever done that? Look, a, a bad background will rise up and kill a good foreground. And so sometimes I get myself into a space where I realize the space is a really absolutely crucial element of the photograph. And, you know, oops, sorry. Uh, and I can, I can light my subject. I know, I have confidence, I can light that subject. When I light my subject up front, I refer to it as formalizing the foreground. Right? Because I'm making the foreground look the way I want it to look. And I'm confident I can do that in the near term. Five, six, seven, eight feet away, I got it covered. What I can't control is that. You know? That's a monster. Right? And I can't, I can't do that. So what I have to do sometimes is start from the back of a photograph and work my way forward and try to sort that out. Now, I'm, in the next 10, 15 minutes, I'm not going to be able to sort out the Adorama background. Um, can somebody, can, anybody from Adorama, could you take that Sony sign down? No, I'm kidding. Kidding. All right, that's the, that's the bad joke. Um, anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay, Lupe, could you come over here and stand here, please, and face me this way? All right, wonderful. Okay, thanks so much, All right. All right, so. I'm going to this because it's blocking the one camera I got for this, okay? Okay. So let's do this. Let's just see where we are here. Okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> you like that <laughs> All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. This is just a test. You don't have to worry about expression, nothing. You know, 200 F4. Okay. Now, okay. So, so I snuck those lights into the rafters earlier before anybody was here. You know, you didn't notice them, do you? Go ahead, tell me. You didn't notice? Them. I had no idea. Wait, rafters? Okay. You yeah. mean shelves? <laughs> shelves, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> shelves. Okay. All right. So, those are A2s. So now, I'm going to come in a little bit closer. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see what I can do about taking my ISO down to 64. And coming in close to Lupe. Oops, sorry. OK, here we go. Beautiful. OK. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go back up, ISO back up a little bit. All right, now, Lupe, could you do me a favor and go a little fashioning on me? Maybe hands on hips, spread your stance out a little bit, okay? Cool. That's fantastic, that's great. Okay, so now we got a little bit of jail thing going on, okay? Now, I'm gonna make a radical move here at camera. Let's just see where we are. Again, just testing, Lupe, just testing. Okay. 
All right, now I went to 1.2. 1.2, all right? Now Seth has told me that if I go to 1.2, I'm gonna have to kill some of these lights up in here, but I'm gonna suggest this. Uh, I'm gonna maybe try to go to high-speed sync. High-speed sync, give it a try. Um, so I'm gonna, I, you know, I mean, I'm taking a chance here, who knows? Everybody familiar with high-speed sync? We cool, all right. 1,000 at 1 1.2, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, no, I have the side button unlocked. Yeah, I always have it unlocked because if I want to go vertically suddenly, but I shouldn't have it unlocked right now because if I go vertically, there's no change because I'm shooting square. Everybody with me? Here we go. Okay. All right, fantastic. You look amazing. Wonderful. Okay, so now, just by virtue, here's the thing. With a couple of flashes in your hand, you can control the world, right? Because I'm able to light and now I'm able to go to high speed sync, and now I'm able to open up my f-stop, and now I'm able to get all of that seriously out of focus, right? Seriously out of focus. Now, let's do this. Let's, um, thanks, all right. <laughs> bless you, bless you. Um, so, okay. All right, now. No, um, no glasses on this one. So I have like a pretty free ring to kind of do, you know, sort of what I'd like to do, just about anything I want to do. Okay, so, and the grid is going to help me because it means that the last thing you want to do, if you're gelling a, a, an area if, like this, for instance, what's the thing that you don't want to do? Put up a big umbrella or something like that, where the light, white light is gonna migrate everywhere and just kill your color, you know, that you just worked, you know, and uh, on creating, right? So, all right, all right. You doing okay, Lupe? Yeah. All right, okay. I always check in with my mom. Here's the thing, your talent, your subject, your model is your most valuable resource on the location. You have to take care of them. You have to be respectful. You have to attend to their needs. You have to make sure they have energy. Because if you kind of just, just keep shooting and shooting and shooting and you're making all, you, you can actually see it through the camera. You can see the energy of your subject start to go like this. You know? You've had that experience, right? Yep. What's the most valuable thing I can give you? Direction. Direction. <gasps> My queen. Um, <laughs> yes, absolutely. What does the person in front of your camera seek from you? Direction, right? They are the actor in your small play that you're conducting through that lens. So you give them a cue. You give them an emotional, um, you know, uh, I don't know, some sort of something to hang on to. I've given uh, songs to people to think of. I've given motivation, novels, you name it. Um, look out the window, you know, and uh, I've said some outrageous things to people. Just, just, to, I went, you know, anybody remember Vince Carter? That's just like the Iron Man of the NBA. I was photographing him for a cover of Sports Illustrated for Kids, and he was totally lackadaisical about it. He was like, oh, you know, I wanted him to be Vince, you know, leaping in the air. And, I'm, and I finally looked at him, and, and, and uh, I said, you know, I'm from New York, and here's the thing. What can I do to get you angry? He was like, you don't want to get me angry. And I said, yeah, how about if I tell you I really like Patrick Ewing? He was like, all right, all right, it's on, it's on, you know, and he starts banging the ball, you know, and he's, and, and I got this great cover, you know, of, of, of Vince Carter flying through the air, and uh, here we go, all right, now, here we go, let's just see where we, uh, Ari, would you mind raising this a couple of inches, thank you very much, nice, chin up, kind of a little bit haughty, fashion model, you know, beautiful, lovely, fantastic, and uh, did we put that up without uh, turning it on? Notice I use the collective we, you know. <laughs> My fault. Of course, huh? My fault. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's one thing I don't do on the set is I don't blame anybody else for things that go wrong. Mostly because anything that goes wrong is my responsibility and I caused it and also my name's on the door. At the end of the day, you know, the shoot goes up or down and, it, and it's me. 
you know. All right, here we go. Let's do a couple more here. Nice. Okay. All right. That's starting to get there. Anybody like that? Yeah, it's kind of pretty, right? Kind of pretty. Um, let's try a silver fill, like a little beauty fill. May I suggest this silver fill? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> let's suggest this silver fill. Let's make sure we get this on video, please. Oh, the... I think I'm on this one. <sighs> Anybody else seen a pizza box that doubles as a fill board? Listen, man. I told you he was crazy. I told you he was really crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come uh, slide in this way, please, Ari. You're good, you're good right there. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna come in tight. It's gonna get hard. All right, here we go, here we go. Beautiful, that's beautiful. Nice. Okay, now. Um, all right, here's the thing. I'm maxed on those. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna ISO up because those flashes are maxed. I'm at, what happens at high speed sync? Lose strobe power, right? So now the only way I can get more strobe power out of those two units is to ISO up, basically, or, or get out of high speed sync, but I don't wanna do that because here's the thing. It's a, it's a bo series of box cars banging into one another. Okay, so I open up my shutter speed. Oh, then I get more store. Oh, then I have to, because what you input to the camera, the chip is a global instrument, right? It doesn't differentiate. It doesn't say, oh yes, this gentleman has, needs a little more light. She's fine. It, it, it's, it's not like that. You're making global inputs and you have to counteract that with a series of sometimes um, unfortunate decisions, compromises on location, but that's the nature of the game. And that's actually where it really gets fun, you know, is when things go wrong. <laughs> I mean, egregiously, terribly, awful, god-awful wrong, you know? And that's what, that's when you break through that, that's when you realize, hey, yeah, I can actually do this, you know? All right, here we go. All right, pizza box in. Okay, uh, look at me, very high fashion, very severe. Nice, that's awesome, fantastic. Nice. Okay, that feels a little better. Now, I'd like like six or seven people to stand up. <laughs> yeah, gentlemen, gentlemen, you two, you sat up front. This is your problem, not mine, okay? And I want you to kind of come near Lupe a little bit and just kind of put your hands around her head. All right, this is not a religious experiment, you know. Um, all right, somebody back in there. Okay, uh, let's see, there. I need somebody tall, stand up, sir, if you don't mind, over in there, hand, hand in the picture. There we go, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Oh, that sucks. Um, oh, yeah. You wanna do it? Let's do it. All right, the hand sucks, sorry. Um, leave, leave them off. Let's make a look at a concert. Okay, all right, all right. Th then use both hands. Put both hands up, okay? Everybody. Um, yeah, more, 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 more. Fantastic, fantastic. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, here we go. Nice, yeah, fantastic. Here, keep it working, Lupe. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. Now you see what's happening? You guys move your hands around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my God, oh my. Okay, fantastic, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Done smoked you guys out. <laughs> All right. But that's kind of pretty. Isn't that kind of fun? Now, there's certain adjustments that need to be made, to be sure. But there's certain adjustments that need to be made in virtually all of my pictures. Um, you know, um, <laughs> you know I, I, I never met a mistake I didn't like. Um, can we scroll back? Was there, a, uh, there was a kind of a good one uh, at some point, right? There was kind of a good one at some point? You know. That's not bad. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Great, great expression, great expression. Oh, there we go, there we go. Nice. Rock star surrounded by her adoring faithful. F1.2, sharp as attack, you know, from a camera I did not drop tonight, you know. Um, <coughs> what do you think of that? It's all right, right? Yeah, a little different. I mean, for an event space like this, kind of fun, kind of a little bit different. You know, Joe, you know, I built this for you. This is what you yeah, do to me? He, he, loves, he loves me. He loves me. Um, 
Okay. That's not bad, Joe. I'll give it to you. All right. So why don't you come on up in here? You could have so, done this in AI, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that? <laughs> go, go have a live stream now, big guy. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you did you want to come back? Oh yeah, yeah. That's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it was uh, we've been cleaning out our house, and I showed this to my wife. I actually had a report card from third grade from the nuns, and I showed it to my wife. They gave you a code for your conduct, and um, F uh, was uh, fair. U was unsatisfactory in the four quarters. And I got you, 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 you. <laughs> and, but you know, that's why you become a photographer. You got authority issues, right? You just have authority issues. Um, OK. So does anybody have anything? Like, where are we here time-wise? Am I overstepping? You're at the hour. You're at the hour. I'm at the hour? Yeah, okay, you're, you, you know, listen, you're Five more it. minutes? Can I, can I grab you for five more minutes? Does anybody want to do anything? In particular. Uh, yeah, in the chat, that was atmosphere aerosol spray. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Um, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, Seth, would you mind doing me a favor? Do you have to stand at the console? Wait. Can you grab that blue light and let's put it on a stick right in the middle there? Hey, and Fernando. Fernando, favor. can you grab that blue light? You need a chair to do it, man. Right here no, on the right up here on See the I, wall clamp. Yep. Uh, yep. There we go. And let's put it on a stick. Let's give him a stick right in the back. Lupe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down now. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so you're going to face this way. Want to handhold it? Yeah, just handhold it. Just handhold it. Okay. He's, he wants you to hold it. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, right. Uh, what's the group, please, Fernando? It is 4C. 4C. Okay. So let me kill, 4C is still hot, so let me kill 4D. So that means that blue light up there, I guess, is gonna be gone. Now the only thing backlighting is that red light that Fer Fernando's uh, holding right now. And um, let's try this. Let me do something a little bit tight, like kind of a beauty shot, okay? Um, and. Uh, Sir, would you mind helping me out again? Because I'm not worried about the, the attitude of the colors so much now, could you stand like here? We're going to soften that up, all right, a little bit. I just need you to stand there and hold that. Well, sir, I have to be able to see her. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> there is that. Um, OK. Yeah, that's a two-stop diffuser, the chat is asking. OK, all right, two-stop diffuser, OK. And that, uh, my A Stop group light. One stop. It is, um, so my A group light, I'm going to put it up power wise because I got diffusion and a grid and all that sort of. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Excuse me, sir, you can step. Because, you know, somebody on the chat's going to say, what's he got a grid on the light if then he's going to diffuse the light? As I don't understand this, you know, as a guy has gone off the rails. He's just a complete lunatic. Um, let's bring in the silver. Yeah. Okay. And, sir, what you need to do with this guy, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to do this to you, but you thank you very much, is kind of, I don't know if you could stand off to the side and kind of hold it so it configures to the light. Is that okay? Yep. All right. All right, cool. And then I'm going to come in a little bit tighter. And whoops. And uh, all right, so I'll, 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 I'll kill it. I'll kill it. OK, here we go. Ready, beautiful, beautiful, lovely. Beautiful fashion shot, lovely. Stay with me. Come on. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Now we're locked. Beautiful. OK. All right. Now that's a mistake. That's a mistake. But there is promise in that mistake. <laughs> OK, here we go. <laughs> All right, sir. Yeah, stuff it right in there. Nice, fantastic. Ari, a little bit lower. Nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. You're getting a lot of pink reflection yeah. over that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. OK, so let's, let's kill that. Yeah. 
let's kill that, because we're getting like uh, light pollution, okay? Now, a potential cure for light pollution from that unfettered gelled light that Fernando is holding could potentially be cured by a grid. Okay, here we go. The placing of the grid. All right, and you can kind of um, maybe come up in here and hold it like here. Kind of like, imagine you're a state trooper and that's a radar gun. Um, Watch your pass, Joe. All right, here we go. Just keep them from going over there and we'll be fine. All right. All right, got to come up a little bit, sir. There we go, there we go. Nice, fantastic. All right, let's do this. Here we go, nice. That's absolutely lovely. Come on. Ah, there we go, nice. Could you go, yeah, there, there, that's it. That's the look, that's the look. Fantastic. Okay, now, does anybody think that hair light is too much? Yeah, a little bit, so let's take it down. That's the beautiful thing about a system like this. You know, um, when I was, you know, early strobes didn't do this. It was like going after things with a sledgehammer, you know, by comparison. The sophistication of the tools that we have now, ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Beautiful, that's absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic. Okay. Now, let's take that main light down just a tiny bit. And now you know what I'm gonna do, and this is gonna screw me up a little bit, but I'm kind of, are you guys kind of liking the out of focus store? So let's brighten that a little bit, okay? And I'll go to 500th of a second. What's that gonna do to my flashes? It's gonna make them more powerful. So let's, this is again kind of an experiment. Let's try it, here we go. Lupe, you're fantastic. A little higher, guys, on the, on the diffuser. That's nice, that's nice, fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, all right, got a little more store. Got too much power on the flashes. Taking the flashes down, 4.5. Taking the flash in the background down to 6.5. Here we go. Absolutely gorgeous, fantastic, that's great. Nice. All right, kind of fun, kind of fun. Now I could go, here's the thing, I got control of the store now via my, my f-stop shutter speed comp. All right, now what I did was I turned that blue light back on. Okay, let's see. All right, nice, way to go guys. Are you okay, sir? Yep. I don't mean to be stressing you here. Okay, but just think that Z9 is, is yours. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go, fantastic. All right. Now we got a little kind of like a little spotlighty thing, you know, like she's waiting in the wings to go on stage. She's a pop singer, you know, this and that. I mean, you have, let your imagination ramble a little bit. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. Do you want it to be a haze or do you want like a blast? Um, I, think, a blast? I think a haze would be better, but I think we should start the haze from camera right because that's the brightest source. Now, Lupe, you are wonderfully, phenomenally tall. Could you do me a favor and just spread your stance out a little bit? And yeah, then you're a little more adjusted to, here we go, here we go guys. The artistry of the smoke, fantastic, fantastic. Good look, good look. Let's do this, here we go. Nice, 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 beautiful. Okay. Okay, I came in too close to her. Let's do it again, let's do it again. A little more spray. Um, guys, up, up high, up high, nice. Yeah, a little more, <laughs> sorry, Lupe. Okay, fantastic, fantastic, here we go. Hard look, hard look, fashiony, fashiony. I'm not good enough for you, I'll never be good enough for you. It's awesome, you're so beautiful that how dare I stare at you. <laughs> nice, now here's the thing, gang. With a model like Lupe, okay, we're getting a little smoked out here, but. <laughs> Anybody out there? Oh my God, they all left. Um, they were gone a long time ago, Joe. But here, here's the thing. Oh, thank you, man, thank you. Um, no alarms, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it just makes you feel confident, right? Like nobody go to the back of the store, you know? Um, okay, so. Here's the thing, like I just went, I rattled off a bunch of frames. Thank you, you're 
you're very helpful. I really appreciate it. Um, with, you know, you get like, you know, Joe Blow in front of the camera. It's like, what do I do with my hands? You know, it's like, oh, just put them over your face, sir. Let's try for, <laughs> let's try for an interpretive portrait, shall we? Cause, but I tell you, <laughs> the check tie and the striped shirt is working for me. I know, but with somebody like Lupe, you try to get all your mistakes made, and then you kind of think, well, I've actually got it dialed in pretty well, and then you turn her on. Let her run with it, okay? And you're at the camera and just, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like hanging on to the caboose of a, of a fast moving train. When you get a, a really um, powerful fashion model or somebody who knows what they're doing in front of the camera, they are moving, expression, expression, energy, energy. And all you can do is bing, 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 and stay with her. And that's where magic starts to cross over, right? If anybody here, you know, the, the LCD on the back of the camera, you know, it's actually, it's like an addictive little light source, you know? It's like, the last thing you wanna do is like, click, uh, yeah, click, uh, you know? I mean, that doesn't make her feel good. It's like, I've actually seen photographers in the camera like, click somebody and then look at the LCD and it's like, uh. You know, it's like, that don't make them feel good, you know? So when you get it right, when you just get it moving, just be so encouraging. Energy at the camera. You have to convince the people that are in front of your camera that you're, you're passionate about this. You need to do this. You need to photograph or you will stop breathing. And, and, and I've, you know, you don't want me to stop breathing, do you? Because that would be on, on your conscience for the rest of your life. So, you know, keep posing. Um, anyway, uh, I've overstepped, I've overstayed. Um, and does anybody have any questions? Is, is that a little uh, gel you put in there? That you like, yes. The, uh, uh, Fernando, could I have that uh, unit, please? Yeah. Thank you much. Here's the, again, the kind of rolling forward of the Pro Photo system. This is magnetized. So is this. Now, I do wish they would come up with a little more reasonable set of gels instead of kind of the candy color, this is called rose pink, you know? <laughs> Call me a traditionalist, but has anybody ever heard of red? You know? Um, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a thought. Um, be easier to put the type. Anyway, um, but this is a fantastic system. Thing, okay? Just a quick thing. If you use this system and you're um, using one of these click soft boxes, don't put the gel on and then the softbox because the, the magnets in the gels are weaker than the magnets that are in the actual unit. So put the softbox on, unclick so it collapses, and then put a gel once you have the softbox affixed to the light because this will not be strong enough. If you move it, it's going to fall right off. Just a little bit of a back note. Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> Didn't fall on my subject at all. <laughs> no. You know, the lawsuit is pending. What can I say? All right. Um, anybody else? Because <laughs> you guys should really go, because I'm having way too much fun. Um, but I, I promised Lupe that she wouldn't have to stay all that long. So why don't we have a round of applause for Lupe? <laughs> and... Uh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Adorama. Adorama's, uh, I, I'm very emotionally attached in lots of ways. You know, I, I do, you know, presentations for other camera stores, but, you know, I, I buy all my gear here, um, and I'm pretty emotionally attached. My wife used to work at this store, and it's just a lovely store populated with wonderful people who really know what they're doing. And witness, they brought back the event space, you know? <laughs> the man. Okay, all right. Thank you all. Thank you for folks in the chat. You guys are great. Um, what are we talking? Thanks. Oh, can you explain how you ended up at 5,300-ish Kelvin, please? Fred, I have no idea. Um, I, was, I was on auto white balance for the whole thing, which is a mistake. 
in lots of ways, but I'm just kind of rolling along here, and it looked pretty good. But here's the thing, if you introduce gels into a situation, if you're really hardcore out there doing like a com corporate or commercial job, go into a fixed white balance, because if you're on auto white balance and you're throwing gels into the situation, it can skew the balance. The camera will start to read that and make decisions on its own. And in some situations, those are good decisions. I love auto white balance, it's very smart. You know, I walk the streets, I put in a little warm, tented auto white balance and I'm good to go. But if you're really getting precise about having a certain type of color, background has to be absolutely blue or this or that or the other thing, best to go into a fixed white balance if you're introducing gels into the scene. Are we good? All right, thank you all, lots of familiar faces, appreciate it. <laughs>